Hello, welcome back to our Famous in America channel. In today's video, we are going to remember some irreplaceable talents in the entertainment world that unfortunately have recently left us, a coincidence is that in this videos we have some athletes, but before we start this journey of tributes, we would be deeply happy if you could leave your like and enjoy this video, because this small but important gesture it helps us a lot keep sharing these simple tributes with all of you. Let's take a look at today's honorees. Number 7, Justin Vicky. Bodybuilder and influencer Justin Vicky has died aged 33 after having his neck crushed by a 210 kilograms load. Vicky was in a gym on the last day 15 when she tried to do a squat with the weight and tragedy happened. A video went viral on social media showing the exact moment when the weight and the barbell hit the boy's neck and pushed his head forward, making him fall unconscious to the ground. The man who assisted him during the exercise was only able to hold Justin after the accident. The athlete was rushed to a hospital on the island of Bali with a broken neck and critical compression on vital nerves connecting the heart and lungs. He succumbed to his injuries and died after undergoing surgery. Vicky had more than 30,000 followers on her Instagram account. He leaves an 11-year-old son. Number 6, Juan Meza. Mexican professional boxer Meza, born Jesus Fernandez, March 18, 1956, died on July 20, 2023 at the age of 67. Meza also known by his nickname Kid Meza, was world champion in the super bantamweight category. Meza was born in Mexicali, Mexico. Meza was trained by Jimmy Montoya, who is very well known in the boxing world. Meza became a very popular wrestler among Latin Americans, particularly those of Mexican descent living in North America. Meza participated in 54 fights, where he had 45 wins, 37 by KO and only lost 9 times. Number 5, Mike Ivey. American professional baseball player Wilson Ivey, or Mike Ivey as he was better known, died on July 21, 2023, aged 70. The cause of his death has not yet been revealed. Mike Ivey was first selected in the 1970 Major League Baseball draft as a catcher by the San Diego Padres and debuted at first base. He also played for the San Francisco Giants, Houston Astros, and Detroit Tigers during his career from 1971 to 1983. In addition to playing first base, Ivey spent time at third base, as a left fielder and designated hitter. Legend, Ivy is one of only five Major League Baseball players to hit two Grand Slams in the same season. In addition to him, Davey Johnson of the Philadelphia Phillies, Daryl Strawberry of the New York Yankees, Ben Broussard of the Cleveland Indians and Brooks Conrad of the Atlanta Braves are on this level. Ivy's batting measure was 269 and he hit 81 home runs. Number 4, Vince Hill. English traditional pop singer and songwriter Vince Hill died aged 89 on July 22, 2023, at his home in Henley-on-Thames, Oxfordshire, England. Hill was best known for his recording of the Rodgers and Hammerstein song Edelweiss, 1967, which reached number two on the UK singles chart, staying on the chart for 17 weeks. Along with a successful recording career in the 1960s, Hill performed on a number of successful TV shows during the 70s and 80s, including They Sold a Million, BBC, Musical Time Machine, BBC, and his own chat show, Gas Street, ITV. In addition to her work in music, Hill has dedicated herself to the charity The Macular Society, a charity for anyone affected by central vision loss. Hill was a widower and Athol, their only child, was found dead aged 42 in January 2014. Number 3, Juliette Maniel. French actress Juliette Maniel died on July 21, 2023 at the age of 87. Maniel appeared in over 30 films and television shows between 1958 and 1978. 
She won the Silver Bear for Best Actress for her role in the film The Fair at the 10th Berlin International Film Festival. A curiosity, Manio was the daughter of French peasants and grew up in a village isolated from the city. His parents' country home became Allied headquarters during World War II. Her film debut was Les Cousins and she was discovered by the film's director and producer, Claude Chabrol, he writes in his autobiography that he saw her in a soap opera publicity film. From 1964 to 1968 she was the partner of Italian actor Vittorio Gassman with whom she had a son, Alessandro, also an actor. She currently lives in Mexico. Number 2. English footballer Paul Frank Hintz died on July 22, 2023 at the age of 78. Hintz played as a winger in the football league, playing for the Manchester City team, and was first division champion in the 1967-68 season. Hintz was one of four players retrospectively awarded a winner's medal in 2021, having been ineligible under the rules at the time. Paul Hintz was a reporter for the Ashton News before starting his football career at Old Trafford, but found more success scoring four goals and playing 11 games for rivals Manchester City during the Mercer Allison partnership in the 1967-68 season. After leaving the fields, Paul returned to journalism working for the Manchester Evening News as City's chief correspondent, where he frequently referred to City as God's own club and later became England's leading sports writer and correspondent. Number 1. Adolf Scherer Slovak footballer Adolf Scherer died at the age of 85 in St. Gilles, France, on July 22, 2023. Scherer played in the striker position and played 36 games for the Czechoslovak national team scoring 22 goals. Scherer was the most important player in Czechoslovakia's runners-up campaign during the 1962 World Cup, which Brazil won. It was his goal in the quarter-finals against Hungary, in a 1-0 victory on June 10, and in the semi-final against Yugoslavia, when he scored the second and third goal in the 3-1 victory. His son Rudolf followed suit, playing for Nîmes Olympique. Thank you very much for getting here and if you liked this video and believe it has value, subscribe to the channel and share it with friends and family. We wish you all a blessed week.